shattered dreams like undeveloped film exposed too soon, naked in sunlight, sunburnt images overexposed beyond repair. Like paint left outside on a rainy afternoon, waiting for a new canvas, dilutes into whitewash, pigment shrivels as last grains of sand sift out of time. Hourglass tells truth and time is a tempest that cannot be contained. Any attempt at restraint is futile. I collapse beneath the weight of broken art, a kaleidoscope of fragments looking for home, a mosaic to join. Broken art is heavy. Its voice is coarse. Language chokes on serrated pulse. Unspoken heartbeats wither like driftwood pummeled in tar and swallowed ocean. <laughs> I stand looking up at the sky. I feel so small, my stature like a little girl, standing barefoot in the kitchen. Flannel nightshirt keeps me warm. I look to heaven through skylight. I can't see the sky, it's dark out. My reflection looks back at me. Skylight has become a mirror. My view is not the sky, but the vantage of God looking down at me as I pray to my father. I see my tired eyes looking at me, pleading for sleep. I see my earnest countenance looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith. I see my upward reaching arms reaching back towards me, all while feeling God's embrace, his invitation of rest. I am not alone, standing in the kitchen. Jesus is with me. He leans in to hear my prayer as I lean into him. I am heard, I am held, I am whole, I am his. She carries a cello everywhere she goes. It is part of her, an extension of her heart, a visual revelation of her melancholy. She does not know how to play this cello, but it represents her deep sorrow. She knows the music that cries from a cello, a weight she loves around like baggage, yet beautiful in its massive melody. Imagining its music as she wanders in meandering notes, enables her to walk amidst the cacophony of the city that does not recognize her. Someday she may learn to play this cello and let it have its full body voice, but for now she clings to it, a companion, a friend. She tells her secrets to and reveals her pains and resonating melancholy, knowing one day this beloved cello will share her story. Her melancholy will be embedded in this grand instrument when the day comes to learn how to play this cello.